Hello everyone, this is Richard with the Modern Healthspan newsletter. First, a disclaimer. In this newsletter series, we will share the latest research studies, news and events in the healthspan field that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here are the topics we will cover today. We will look at a couple of research papers on the actions of CD38 on NAD levels, two encouraging news items and two longevity virtual events to join. This week, Dr. Sinclair tweeted about a couple of articles which appeared in Nature Metabolism. The articles reported on the link between the accumulation of senescent cells and the decline of NAD as we age. Both studies were looking at the behaviour of CD38 and senescent cells. CD38 is a multifunctional enzyme that catalyzes the synthesis of ADP ribose from NAD+, and so consumes NAD. Overexpression of CD38 can lead to a decline in NAD. Let's have a look at these two papers. First of these looked at how senescent cells promote NAD plus decline during aging via the activities of CD38 in macrophages. Here a macrophage is a type of white blood cell and part of our immune system that engulfs and destroys pathogens. As we know, NAD levels decline with age and this reduction is linked to the process of aging and the associated diseases. However, what causes this decline is unclear. In the study, they looked at the accumulation of M1 macrophages, those that encourage inflammation, in visceral fat and liver. Here they express high levels of CD38, which consumes NAD, reducing the overall NAD at the tissue level. And related to this, senescent cells also accumulate in the fatty tissue and release inflammatory markers known as SASP, which causes the macrophages to proliferate and express even more CD38. And as they say in the conclusion, they have then shown a causal link between senescent cells and the NAD tissue decline. Here we see that NAD decline can be slowed by knocking out CD38. But we don't know how CD38 is regulated during aging and how this relates to NAD homeostasis. In a similar way to the previous paper, the authors saw an increase in CD38 expression in fatty tissue driven by CD38 immune cells and that secretions from senescent cells drove the accumulation of these CD38 plus cells. They showed that decreasing senescent cells helped with the NAD decline and blocking the CD38 activation outside the cell, the ectoenzymatic activity referred to here, can increase the NAD levels. Their conclusion is similar in that the presence of senescent cells promotes the accumulation of CD38 immune cells which decrease NAD levels. So these papers may tie together the chronic inflammation of aging, inflammaging, with the increase of senescent cells and decline in NAD. They offer a possible path for therapy by targeting senescent cells and macrophages to reduce CD38 activation. The US Food and Drug Administration approved a medicine Friday to treat progeria. Progeria is a fatal genetic disorder that causes premature aging in children. Children diagnosed with progeria have an average life expectancy of 14 years. Physicians will soon be able to prescribe an approved drug called lonafarnib, which has been shown in clinical trials to decrease the rate of mortality by 60% and prolong lives by an average of two and a half years. A 71-year-old powerlifter named Rudy Cadlub broke three world records earlier this month in squats, bench press and deadlifts. He now holds International Powerlifting League world record totals in three different weight classes. All these classes are within the 70 to 74 age division. What we found most impressive is that Mr. Cadlub only began his journey into competitive powerlifting when he was 55. Since that dive into the sport, he has set over 20 world records in his weight class. Next, our event corner. On November the 23rd, 6.30pm GMT, there is an event entitled Rejuvenation Biotechnology, Latest Developments in COVID-19, with a talk by Dr. Aubrey de Grey and hosted by the Oxford Society of Aging and Longevity. The topic is to discuss whether rejuvenation technologies can restore immune function and protect us from COVID-19. The session will include a Q&A with Dr. de Grey. The virtual event is free, but you need to register at Eventbrite to get tickets first. 
We talked in an earlier newsletter about the Healthy Longevity webinar hosted by Dr. Brian Kennedy. There are three more sessions in December. December the 3rd will be a talk by Dr. Walter Longo. Please find the links to both of these events in the description below. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you found the Modern Healthspan newsletter informative. As we find more interesting research and longevity news, we will release our next newsletter. Please stay tuned. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for new video release notifications. It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.